feline. The greatest foe of the great Gazgul Maguro Cracker. The beast of Armageddon. The conqueror of Piscina, Golgotha, and lots of other places besides. The great prop, the big three, the guppiest gop, the stabbiest stabber, the fightiest, hardest warlord, what was ever been ever, and that is a very long time. And don't you forget it. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. And in this video, we're going to do a bit of a sort of review, I guess, of the new hammer and bolter episode previewed recently by games workshop so i was very very lucky that i was invited to a private screening of hammer and bolter on thursday by games workshop huge thank you to gw for not only inviting me but supplying me with those images and that little clip of audio that you saw right at the start of the video um so it doesn't match but they sent us three images and two clips of audio and i've just used what i can to show off hammer and bolter so um this was their way of previewing warhammer plus and getting us excited about animations on Warhammer Plus for the new service that's coming, their premium service coming out on the 25th of this month, so in two days' time. And um, it's not my thing. So the voice acting was good. I'm hoping you've just heard the orc talking there on the audio clip. It wasn't bad. It was pretty decent. The soundtrack was very good, but the animation is just not my kind of thing. That's not to say it was bad. It's just that I don't do cartoony. I don't do anime. I was really hoping we'd see something CGI as a preview, but we don't have to wait long. Two days time, 25th, one plus goes live. So for me personally, it it wasn't something that blew me away. Like I said, I, I enjoyed the voice acting. I thought that the audio was pretty strong. I thought that the soundtrack was very good. I just think they could have picked a better way of showing off Warhammer Plus, and I don't think this was the best way of showing it off. But that being said... I'm trying not to be negative about it. I'm trying to be more positive nowadays and bring positive vibes to the community. There's tons of people that are upset and angry and pissed off lately about Gaze Workshop. I don't want to be one of those people. So I am still looking forward to Warhammer Plus. On Wednesday, when it launches on the 25th, they will be launching their first ever battle report on Warhammer Plus. And I'm super excited to see what that looks like and whether Games Workshop are in fact able to enter the market as a key player in the battle report scene. Um, fingers crossed they can do a good job of it because the more people that are then exposed to battle reports, the more people that might come online and start searching for other content creators and start looking at their content, their battle reports, um, their talking heads and stuff like that. So I'm super excited by it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the team do for the first battle report. Um, Patrick Price, who jumped into the Valrak stream on Saturday, and if you haven't watched that, that's still available to view on the channel. Um, and said hello is one of the present uh, one of the presenters for the Warhammer Plus Battle Reports. I'm also super excited to see the CGI stuff from the guys that made series like Astartes. I really want to see what that looks like, and that's something that I think would have been better to showcase Warhammer Plus on Thursday. But like I said, I was lucky. I got a peek behind the curtain. I got an early preview, and I would have put it up on Saturday, but I was far too busy. Spoiler alert: pulling Valrak's pants down. I mean, really, it was embarrassing for him to be honest. <laughs> um, but it was great fun. So um, I'm afraid I wasn't able to get this up on Saturday for you guys, um, but I am able to do it today. So I still get to talk to you about the preview. What's important by doing it today is you, if you've had the opportunity to, you will have also been able to see the preview because Games Workshop put this up on the community site on Saturday, left it up for 24 hours, which means you guys can now jump in the comments below and let me know what you thought of Hammer and Bolter. Did you think it was good? Did you think it was a good episode? Are you into this kind of cartoon? Do you like the anime type series? What did you think of the voice acting? What did you think of the soundtrack? Let me know in the comments below, guys, whether you guys are excited for it or not. Do you think they could have done a better job showcasing Warhammer Plus by using CGI? Because I think they could have done. I'm still excited for it i'm still pumped for it i'm still hoping it's going to be great at the end at the end of the preview games workshop also did a little bit of a q a with one of the community leaders himself eddie eccles who gave us some information so firstly if you are already an app subscriber for things like 40k or even the aos app then you can go into the my warhammer account and just upgrade your existing account to be able to include warhammer plus it's not like cancel subscription take a new subscription all that kind of stuff you could upgrade your warhammer plus account which i think is really good and really positive obviously 
you only be subscribed for that year if you're going to get that exclusive model, like the Vindicare that they've shown off, or the I think it's like an Oric or something that they've also shown. So also really positive. And they have confirmed that Warhammer Plus will launch new content every Wednesday. So it's Warhammer Plus Wednesdays, basically, is what they called it. Um, Eddie did also say that a number of most countries will be able to get it on day of release, but some countries they're having problems with, i.e. China, they haven't been able to get the relevant authority to be able to put Warhammer Plus in China yet, but they're working on it, so it should be coming to all you guys in other countries at some point in the very near future. And I think that's about that. Um, Also available in multiple different currencies, of course, as well. So... Let me know what you think of the episode. Let me know what you think of the audio. Was it great? Was it bad? Was it terrible? Um, and, and lastly, a massive thank you to everyone who came and joined in on Saturday and watched the uh, Me versus Valrak live stream bat report. Um, I didn't do it as a one-off. I did it as a, I want to try doing live content. And I think I've definitely 100% confirmed I want to continue to do live bat reports in the future. So I think we'll be doing some more of those. Um, Sam also, or Valrak, I, I, got to, I keep getting told off for calling him Sam. Valrak said he enjoyed it so much he'd like to come down frequently and we he might be trying to make it a monthly-ish event but it's a long way for him to travel considering he's got a bad back he told us about that a lot anyway thank you so much for the support if you want to support the channel further you can become a member by clicking the link below equally just liking and subscribing whilst watching this video is a massive amount of support for me so thank you so much to everybody who's doing that you're all absolute heroes you can also join deploymentzone.tv again a link below to deploymentzone.tv and if you sign up today you get a seven day free trial you can watch content for nothing including the amazing play on series the den of imagination tutorial series and plenty of other content that's in dz tv um, sign up for seven days for free and if you don't like it you can cancel it doesn't cost you anything and you've got to watch some cool content anyway so why why wouldn't you sign up uh, otherwise the other way you could other ways you can support the channel there we go is by joining me on my live streams so typically we live stream at 21 30 every monday but we're also starting to drop some random ones in there now on youtube keep an eye out hit that bell notification make sure you don't miss a stream a great fun we talk rubbish chat shit with the chat love it it's my favorite thing to do thank you very much for watching we'll see you in the next one